this is Judy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be working on the stamp of the month for February 2023. It's called Springtime Borders. Really fun stamp set. I love borders. <laughs> so these are some of my favorites. And this one has umbrellas, boots, a sentiment, hearts, butterflies, a fence, which I can use because of course I live on a farm, and rainbows. The layout that I created to gift to anyone who orders this from me has the colors bluebird periwinkle and flamingo these kind of complement our paper pack that is featured this month which is life's a hoot and i cut out these designs these are picture mats they're uh, three by four mats and then i have the periwinkle with like a diamond pattern so our cardstock is double-sided. One side is the true color and one side is a light color. So this is the same color. Just flipped it over when I cut it out to make a nice design. So the thought process on this is to stamp this piece in whatever stamp I want to use and then layer these on top. And all these little pieces, now they're very delicate, so some of the triangles fell off, but once you glue them on, you'll never know. These ones stayed on. So I'm going to stamp these layers and then layer the other one on top. And I'll send all these pieces to you if you buy this from me, except for the base. Um, you, know, you probably have a white sheet of cardstock somewhere in your stash, right? Or you can use a different color if you want to. Let's see, I think I'm going to do, let's see, this is going to be on the bottom, so let's do the rain boots. And you can layer whichever color, top, bottom, you can cut it in half and do a two-page layout, which always is an option because the colors are so bright and bold. Now for this, you will need our one inch by six and a half inch block, so you line it up on your Versa mat and will pretty much be straight and then you can pick it up with your block okay and i'm going to do tone on tone stamping so i'm going to use bluebird with the bluebird paper and these are brand new i have not used them yet so i'm going to stamp off on my scrap paper Oh, look at how cute they are. I'm also going to turn my Versa mat over because it has that cushion side on the side. Help me get a good image, even though that looks really nice. And yes, I do have boots like this. <laughs> so do my granddaughters. I think most people do, right? Using the two-tone stamping really makes the image fun and whimsical and you don't have to color them in oh they came out so cute all right so now i just need to do the one side and you can stamp as many times as you want and i like to stagger my stamps so i'm going to go off a little bit now on this side and try and line up in between I'm gonna flip this around so I can see the bottom. Make sure I put my stamp upside down as well. This just helps me to line it up a little bit better. Now I'm going to ink the edge. And I don't want a lot of ink, so I'm just going to run it along the side of my ink pad. And it'll help cover up that white of the cardstock. Okay, and now lay this on top. Let's see what a fun pattern that is. So I use my glue to glue that down and do my other pieces, and then I'll be back. So I'm going to show you how I glue these down. Um, not having these little pieces on there was, uh, a, I think, a little bit better. <laughs> it was a good mistake. 
because if I put glue on there, it got on the base piece. So I'm not gonna glue that one down. I'll just flip it up and put glue underneath. And these will line up right at the top and side to side. And now I can flip this up and just put a little bit of glue on there. It looks like this purple one, that this piece might be a little bit longer, so I can trim that off and then re-ink the edge. going to use the words to put a border around my page. You can use any of the stamps for that, but I think the words will look pretty. You know, it depends on if your page is a spring page, right? Because it has, hello spring, in full bloom, spring has sprung. I turn my stamp upside down. And I'm going to have the words so that they read toward the inside of the layout. And the clear stamps make it so nice because you can see in between. Now this is going to overlap a little bit so I'm going to cover up that image so I don't go over. I'm going to try to line that up. So it just had a little bit there, but I don't think anyone will examine it that closely. All right, so we'll do the same here. It's nice having the clear stamp so you can see through it too. Now because this is just a swirl at the end there, I'm not real worried about it overlapping. There we go. Alright, that looked out nice. I'm going to bring my base pieces back in again. And I can turn my Versamat over. The hearts on flamingo, the boots on bluebird, and the rainbow on the periwinkle. And they should line up pretty closely, so that looks good. So the next thing, I have a title, and you can use it or not, depending on what your photos are going to be. And then I have three daisies. I've got a pink one. And I also included the cutout from the inside, but you don't have to use them because you have a yellow dot. And I don't think it lines up in any particular way. And I put them on the dark side. And then you have a white one. You also have the three leaves. And then some photo mats. It might be different than what I have. I think this came out really pretty. I'm very happy with the, the result. I hope you like it. This is the layout. And once you get the photos on there, it'll be cute. If you have a four by six, you could put these together and no one would ever know that it was a three by four and then just leave one off. Or you could have this too. I <laughs> know you could do it either. But it would be really pretty if you cut it in half here and put it on another page. And then you could have two pages. Just leave off this border and then have it all around the whole two, two page layout. That would be really pretty. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you ordered this from me, and uh, you can get it for $5 with a $50 order. 
or you can get it for free if you're a VIP, or you can buy it outright for $19.95. My website, stampinforever.closetomyheart.com, and links in the description of this video. And if your order totals $100 or more, you'll also get a card kit, and I'll be doing a video on that shortly. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.